listening to you about spelling Oh, it seems to me your ABC skills are less than terrific So buck up, boys, as we master the joys of the lovely hieroglyphic Woo! Everyone needs the ABC It's as simple as vulture foot basket You know how to sing, do re me Easy to spell, it's hand, eye, thingy, owl ABC Vulture foot basket do re me Phonetic glyphics. Next, you get two letters a set. Morphemes called logographic. Finally, third, the form of a word. Determinatives. Horrific. Everyone needs their flamingo house sun. It's simple, but sun can mean duck. Everyone, you all know how to write your name. Except for me, Tutanefertiti Carmen. Flamingo house sun means duck to sun. Tutanefertiti Carmen. Let's leave that one. Read, read, easy. Cat, pig, dog, red dog, frog. Make your spelling magnific. You can go up and down, left and right and around. No punctuation in hieroglyphic. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Just 700 characters or so. Now that's done, let's have some fun with numbers. Here we go. Everyone needs their one, two, three. It's as simple as I, 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 I. You can all count to 99. Easy to write, it's who. See you all working hard, but I'm afraid we must push on. Oh. Right, someone tell me where we got to yesterday. Sir? Yes, Abacus? Math, sir. We were counting how many criminals' heads we could chop off in one contest. Oh, yes, maths. So, if we're to take... Sir, sir. What is it, overzealous? When do we get to fight in the Colosseum, sir? The Colosseum? The Colosseum is for elite gladiators, like me. Masters! At the gladiatorial arts. Which of you will become raging Rhetorius, eh? Huh? With your trident and your net, or a vile Venator doing battle with wild animals? You, overzealous, are not ready for the Colosseum. What did you get in your last fighting wild animals exam? I got a B. <laughs> you got a B. Smallest and easiest to fight of all the animals. But what would you do if you were up against a lion in the arena? Well, speak up, boy! Don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Exactly! Now, where were we? Maths, sir. Maths! Good. So, if I was to cut off four men's heads and add them to the ten slaves' arms I cut off the day before, what would we have? Yes, sir. A great afternoon's entertainment for the people of Rome, sir. Correct, John, so clever as Gloggers. Well done, yes. Oh, OK, everyone pack up violently. Oh, oh, before you go, before you go, make sure you hand in your homework. Oh. All right, all right. Thank you. Very good. Very nice work. A plus. And you must be... Uh, Linda and Nigel. We're Archelaus's parents. Archelaus? I see. What's wrong? Well, I've been meaning to speak to you about your son's behaviour for some time. Is he in trouble? Well, I have a list here of what he's been up to in the last week alone. Screaming, shouting, fighting with other pupils, attacking the teachers. Really? Bringing weapons into school, cheating, lying, stealing, bullying. I mean, <laughs> the list goes on and on. Mr. and Mrs. Archelaus, your son... Yes? ...is the perfect Spartan child. He is going to make a fantastic Spartan warrior. 
You must be very proud. I'm very proud. Oh, yeah, he's very proud. <laughs> All right, it is a Spartan it's... school, so don't cry. <gasps> All you helots, you zealots, you Peloponnesians, you Lacedaemons, all of Leonidas' army, let's get Barmy for the Spartan School Musical! Go, Go Sparta! Here. We don't have Spartan nerds The weedy kids were left to die as breakfast for the birds We're taught to love a fight, we're taught not to be meek And if we're good they feed us three square meals every week Let's go fight in our fight, it's exciting our rocket at the Spartan School Come on! Woo! At Spartan Kindergarten I'm the boss that's understood I smack them if they're naughty and I thwack them if they're good I'm feeling rather peckish, I'm gonna steal some food I'll have to punish you, ungrateful Spartan brood We promise not to steal, we're not the thieving sort Stealing is considered good, what's wrong is getting caught Let's get beaten, I'll learn lies and cheat And I'll roll it at the Spartan school We have a bunch of contests to see who is the best The meanest, leanest, toughest, roughest Spartan contest This one is my favorite game, lashings of good fun Didn't feel a thing, I want my mom We pass our last exam and it's Spartan graduation Straight away we go to work, no time for celebration Ten years active service in the army, no diversion There's only one job for a Spartan, killing loads of Persians <laughs> Wondering about love, it's bound until you're 30 High school doesn't teach romance, it teaches fighting dirty Let's go fight and I'll fight, it's exciting I'll rock it at the Spartan schools Get beaten, I'll learn lies and cheat and I'll roll it at the Spartan school You shouldn't have been stealing is Mrs. Jay going to make me pay for it? Well, I'm afraid it's not Mrs. Jones today. We have another of our substitute head teachers from the past. Oh, no. Mr. Brazidas from Ancient Sparta will see you now. defensive about it. I'm just, I'm simply telling you no one wants Kedgeri two days in a row. Sorry. Ah, I can see why you're in trouble straight away. A boy wearing shoes on his feet. Criminal! I shall have to beat you. Actually, Mr. Brazidas, Lewis has been stealing. What? Stealing? Well done, lad. That's exactly the kind of behaviour we encourage at Spartan School. Maybe we'll forget about the whole shoe thing, shall we? Off you pop. I knew reducing the food portions would lead to behaviour like this. But, Mr. Brazidas, stealing is wrong. It should be punished. Nonsense. It's a great lesson for any warrior. Win by any means. We need to teach these children to be sneaky if they're going to win battles. That's a relief. I thought I was really in trouble when they caught me. What? Caught you? Stealing may not be frowned upon, but being caught stealing certainly is. Oh, I shall have to beat you after all. Actually, Mr. Brazidas, I don't think you're allowed to do this. I'm pretty sure it came up in a governor's meeting and it was a no-no. Completely ridiculous. Next thing you'll be telling me I can't line up boys in front of a statue of Artemis and whip them till they drop. To find out who's strongest. No, I'm pretty sure you can't do that either. But we do have a play at Christmas. Is, is that the same kind of thing? No, not really. Now I shall have to beat you. Prepare for your beating, boy. Now, where's my... Beating stick. Have you stolen it? No, sir. I'm hurt you'd even suggest it. There's hope for you yet. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> yes, that's right. The new head teacher wants a minimum of 60 pupils per class. I know it does seem strange, but he is from the Tudor age. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go. OK? I didn't do anything. I'm sorry, Sam. I really have no idea why he wants to see you. Come on. Yes, double pepperoni, please. And plenty of spice. I'm very keen on the Eastern spices, yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, there he is, the truant! Truant? Indeed. Don't think I didn't see you breezing through the school gates at 8.20 this morning. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, boy? That's when school starts. Not in Tudor school, it isn't. School starts at dawn, and dawn this morning was at 4.30 a.m., so where were you? At home. In bed. Ah! He admits it, does he? Well then, 
Three strokes of the cane it is. Mr. Fuller, yet... What's that on your head? Nothing. Precisely! Losing a cap. That's worthy of another beating, I'm afraid. Oh, Lord. Blasphemy! Well, well, that deserves another beating. We have a bad apple here. Hang on a minute. What's all this in your bag? Just school stuff. Ah! How dare you bring these frivolous playthings into school? Mr. Bullen, those are all official school books. Nonsense! All a boy needs to learn is one of these. We call it a horn book. It has the alphabet and Lord's Prayer on one side and plenty of space to write on t'other. But shouldn't we be encouraging them to read books? <laughs> Are you trying to ruin this child? Upper-class parents won't thank you for turning him into some sort of bookworm. A Tudor gentleman's life is to hunt and hawk. What was that for? Oh, it's for your own good, boy. You see, Tudor teachers believe that beating pupils helps to keep them warm. Now, off you go, back to your class, and be here at dusk when school finishes to receive your beating. Stay! Do you have a dagger about you, boy? What? No. I thought not. Right. You better borrow mine. Yes, Tudor schoolboys need to carry those at all times to keep the nib on their quill pen sharp. Dismissed. Oh, Margaret. Where did we go so wrong? So, that's your homework. Learn a hundred English words. Do we have to, miss? Yes, you do. The English run all the schools in Wales. So which language do we speak? English, miss. And what happens if I hear you speaking Welsh? We have to wear the Welsh knot, miss. That's right. You have to put on the Welsh knot, like Jenkins here. Jenkins, you used a Welsh word, didn't you? Yes, miss. Which word did you say? Miss, I know. It was Cymru. Ha <laughs> ha! You said it. You said a Welsh word. You have to put the Welsh knot on. <laughs> What are you sniggering at, girl? Sorry, miss, I just can't believe he said Cymru. <laughs> oh, dear. What are we going to do now? Wear the Welsh knot, miss. Correct. And we all know what happens to the last person to be wearing the Welsh knot at the end of the school day, don't we? Yes, miss. They get a beating. Miss? Yes? What does Cymru mean? It's Welsh for Wales. But the bell's about to go, so bend over for your beating. Yes, miss. Ah, somebody's been speaking Welsh, have they? Yes, headmaster. Some people never learn. The silly clot asked me what Cymru means. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let this be a lesson to you. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Now... Sorry, sir. Queen Victoria was born in 1819. Queen Victoria was born in 1819. Queen Victoria became queen in 1837. Queen Victoria became queen in 1837. Leatherby, we do not drink ink. Leatherby, we do not drink ink. No, no, children, that was just for Bletherby. No, no, children, that was just for Bletherby. Children, you do not have to repeat everything that I say. Children, you do not have to repeat everything that I say. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I smell of wee. You smell of wee. Aha! That was an exact repetition. Aha! That was an exact repetition. The headmaster's coming. Now behave, or the silly old goat will have me dragged off to his office. Is everything all right, Mr. Hanrahan? The headmaster's coming. Now please behave, or the silly old goat will have me dragged off to the office. Mr. Hanrahan, a word in my office, please. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. I think you'll find the conditions at our Victorian school to be quite exemplary, Inspector. I'll be the judge of that, Headmaster. That's why we have these random school inspections. <laughs> Pray explain what's going on here. Well, I was administering 30 lashes to this boy. 
and then I broke one of my canes. So I was giving him 30 more lashes for damaging school property. I see. <coughs> and what did he do? He misspelt the word anti-disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> How long will he be in the stocks? Three days. I see. And another three days for sobbing. <laughs> and what was your crime, my child? Good. You're learning. Explain. Ah, this boy is being put into the cage. It is one of my absolute favorite punishments. He will then be suspended from the rafters. What for? Oh, nothing. He's my son. I don't want to be accused of favoritism. Thanks, Dad. So, um, what do you think then, Inspector? Gentlemen, keep up the good work. Marvelous. Jenkins, you can sit back down now. Thank you, sir. What? You can sit down? I obviously haven't beaten you enough, boy. <laughs> Right, settle down. Mr Butler isn't here today, so I'll be taking the register. Uh, now, I don't know any of you, so be sure to call out when you hear your name. Raspberry Lemon. Lettuce Burger. Bovril. I I'm sorry, I, th I think I must have picked up a shopping list. No, miss, those are children's names. They're not answering because they're off sick. Bovril and Raspberry. Honestly, Christian names have got really weird since Victoria became Queen. Well, OK, on, on with the register. No way, miss. Sit down. What are you talking about? You said, OK, on the register. I'm OK. OK, Johnson. Well, OK. Uh, unless I give permission, never get out of your seat. Yes, miss. Why are you standing up? You said, never get out of your seat. I'm never. Never rook rook. Has nobody got an ordinary name in this classroom? Yes. Toilet? All right, be quick. No, that's my name. I think that's quite a normal name. My sister's called Baboon. Toilet and Baboon. Your parents must be evil. No, that's evil over there. Yes. I've got an ordinary name, miss. It's Susan. Ah, that's more like it. Susan Semolina Thrower. Right, let's just try and get through this, shall we? I'll say your names, you say here, and uh, I'll try not to say your names accidentally. Happy? Yes, miss. Don't tell me your name's Happy. Right, register. Here we go. Freezer Breezer. Here, miss. Princess Cheese. Here, miss. Minty Badger. Here, miss. Scary Looker. No, I'm sorry. Why would anybody call their child Scary Looker? Forget I asked. Now! I am Miss Farting Clack. Good morning, Miss Farting Clack. <laughs> if you have any questions while I'm showing you around the school, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, Headmaster. Now, how hard will it be for Samuel to get in? Well, the examination is perfectly straightforward. We examine your bank account. If you've got enough money, we're in. What is your attitude to discipline? Oh, discipline is very important at this school. We really, really wish we had some. Do not throw stones in the quadrangle. Oh. Do not fire pistols at the headmaster. I'd just like to walk this way. Second thoughts, run. What's going on? You know, <laughs> just a little high spirit. <laughs> Must be double chemistry. Who's firing pistols? Who's throwing stones? Not sure. I think it's class 5B. It's cool. Yes, sir. Uh, just a little pupil rebellion. Rebellion? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. All the best schools have them. Oi! Do that! Yes, I'm looking at you! You're late! Sorry, sir. You're a bit old to be a pupil. Are you a teacher? No, nope, no. Nope. Colonel Warwick, British Army. Headmaster always calls us in when a rebellion gets out of hand. They've broken several school rules. I think this time you may need bayonets. Yes, sir. Thanks, bayonets! Good luck, Colonel! Point it up of that! All of you, see me in my office! Ah. Ah, so, hands up if you'd like to see the library. 
Yes, please. please. Both hands. If we surrender, they might let us across without firing. Oh, One second thought, why don't I introduce you to Matron? In good old Queen Victoria's day, industrial revolution meant bosses said, please, we need more employees, we need a dissolution. Who will climb our chimneys? Who will power our grids? Victorian families so desperately poor, they'll let us employ their kids for. Cleaning in the factory We're not very strong And the hours are long This work is unsatisfactory Learn not to get caught in spokes Or trap our hands in gauges To stop machines and get you out Will cost you a week's wages <sighs> Work, terrible work There's no help or say 